Whether you're a FIFA player or you're a PES player, at the end of the day, we've all been in that position where you're playing against someone, whether it's a computer, whether it's um, a human opponent, that it just feels aided. You know, you get an overhead kick from 30 yards straight in the top corner and you think, how the hell did that happen? Well, I decided to just change it up because I was getting so fed up with the way some games play you like to play on legend mode whether you like to play on a slightly easier mode i wanted to make the game harder overall and so i chose to do something different and i put everything into manual mode so playing in manual mode in the normal view this is pez 2020 at the moment view and i'm going to show and share with you some sort of pros and cons of each FIFA and PES in manual mode and to show you and, and tell you which is the best game of the two that can be played this way. Now, as you can see from here, when you play in manual mode, you can see around the pitch, you've got more insight into where you can see in this view, but it's shooting that's the problem because manual everything, manual through pass, manual lob, manual shooting the lot it is got to be from in my opinion the eyesight view when it's like first person or third person you can see a lot better and when you take these little passes it's 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 not bad it can be done and it makes it a lot harder to play with but as you'll see here you've got to be perfect so it keeps it nice and harder for you especially if you're a good player if you're someone so if we go to player view in PES, now these are the pros and cons of each one. As you'll see here, the only thing I like about this view is when you're so close to the action, when you're taking a shot, it feels really immersive and it, it just feels really good. When you make passes like this, it just it, it gives you a sense of being there in the moment. It's just really good. But the downside with this, as you can see, is obviously seeing around you without the uh, minimap. It, it's in in um, situations like this where you're being closed down you've got to make a quick decision and looking at the mini maps just virtually you know impossible to do so quick while you're trying to concentrate and the you know the the screen moves around a lot and you've got to get into position you can't see what's behind you you can't defend as well because you don't know where to position your players if you can everything's a bit jumbled up so that's the that's the pro and the con of this view which just makes it really really hard um but at the same time it can be enjoyable if you're playing it in become a legend mode where you're just playing as one player and you can focus on your actual player on his own that doesn't make too that's not too bad because you can see where to position yourself and you only have to worry about one player However, now if we move over to this one is PES again. Now this is the vertical camera view. Now the good thing, the pro with this is compared to player view, you've got a further back view and you can actually see where you're passing to a bit better. But the downside to this one is when you're going at an angle, if you're going down the wing like I'm going to make a run now, you'll see the screen doesn't turn towards the goal. So when you turn you've got to judge where to shoot and that is blooming hard because you cannot see from the eyesight view of whatever you're looking at and that makes it really hard to actually position to to get a shot on target with manual so you you end up would have to go for automatic sort of assist to help you get on target with this view and i, I just that's the sort of con with this uh so it it just makes it really really difficult now as you can see here when they're attacking me if they were going on the wing as you'll see in a minute this one is from straightforward but again i can't really see in good positions to defend but when they're trying to get through even now when i try to make a run down on the wing again you can see the camera view does not turn 
and that makes it virtually impossible. It can't, I can't even see who I can pass to in the box because it don't turn. So this makes it very hard in manual mode and almost impossible to, to enjoy uh, in this game, which I tried to enjoy, but it, again, it's best to go on something else. Now, this is on the Xbox. This is FIFA. Now, this is why I prefer FIFA, because you can adjust the programmer's speed, the zoom, and the swing. And this is the difference between FIFA when you put it all on manual mode, all of the thing, most of the things on off, like timed finishing, um, manual right stick, pass assistance, through ball, shot assistance, cross assistance, everything is in manual, so there's no help. This eliminates, if you've got someone to play with, that eliminates the, the, the fact of the scripting because you are actually having to get it pin perfect and as you can see for a few shots here it if you get it wrong you know you've got to be pin pinpoint accuracy and you've got to you know it, it is hard but if you're a good player if you find it too easy or you find that um the scripting's annoying with a friend or something and you can play in manual mode you know, as you see now, if you see this, this is FIFA. I'm looking towards a goal so I can see where I can pass to. I can see where the goal is, as opposed to Pez, where you can't actually see. It doesn't turn the screen, so you're actually looking at a different angle. In a minute, you'll see some other views where I'm, at, I'm actually going to stop talking and you'll see me scoring some goals in manual mode, playing the game and proving that FIFA, in my opinion, after playing this for a long time in both views, you can see here from the overhead type of view, you can position yourself to defend a lot better. So on PES, you can't do that. You can't defend. Let's try a long ball, right? Let's see if I can make like um, some sort of different type of passes from long range. See if I can make a pass over here and as you can see, that's a manual pass and a pinpoint accuracy. So it can be done, but you've just got to get it right. And as I say, when you get into positions and you try to just get it through, and unfortunately it didn't work there. But as I say, you'll see some goals soon. I'm going to stop talking and you'll see how you can actually score in manual mode and why FIFA is, in my opinion, far superior. As you can see from this angle, I can position in defence. I can get blocks in. I can keep defending well. I can see a better view of where I'm standing to defend crosses like now. I can see all the players in the box to defend. I couldn't do that in pairs because the view is, is totally off. It's like a guessing game. It's like being blindfolded. So, um, yeah, I mean, here you make little runs. But again, you know, this is all manual mode. And if you find yourself sort of struggling or, or, or um, you, you, maybe you are good, you're a good player and you just want something with a new challenge to tide you over, then try, you know, try manual everything because it will it will play completely different. We'll just do a long cross here. Long ground pass, again, manual mode, nice pinpoint there. But as I say, just keep a, keep a look out and um, just try it, just see how difficult. And if you find it hard, then go to a lower level because it means that with cutting out the scripting, it means having a harder level like legendary, it just takes it away from you. So you watch these goals now anyway. Now you can see how I pinpoint this right in the corner. Now it makes it more satisfying when you've done this on your own. And you've made it just right for the shot. A nice finished shot right in the corner, just out of view. So back underway in this game. Bruno Fernandes. And a goal here for Manchester. Once again, 
it went just out of view of the, the goalkeeper's hand when you see the slow motion. You'll see just how close it was, but it's more satisfying to play. If you can get it just right, it just it is just more satisfying. So close, so close when you see the slow motion. Just here, the goalie can't quite reach it, and it gets right in the corner. Now this was played with locked player on, so I'm, I'm not playing the whole team, I'm just playing like become a, uh, like become a legend or, or pro clubs. And uh, you can see the way I took that shot. It was close, but um, again, you're just playing as one player and you can link up with the team. And again, you see, I was going to put it right in the corner, but... The goalie this time has got a hand on it. He just reacts, just gets a fingertip on it. Back right off the crossbar on that one. But again, it's more satisfying playing in manual, knowing that everything you do is down to you you know not the computer you have to get it just spot on any mistakes i feel like it's my mistake it's not where the computer has actually deliberately done it for me it's just my mistake and again you know you can see there it's a nice feeling when you can do it on your own And it's nice to link up, as I say, this is... Straight in the corner again. As I say, it can be done. It just makes it more difficult. But if you find it too hard on a higher level, just go down, you know, just... Just try it. Just try this mode. Give it some time. But as I say, playing in this sort of view allows you to have a better view of the goal and it gives you a bit more immersion into when you take shots and you make passes just right it just helps you to enjoy the game a little bit more but as I say you know give it a go have a have a bash at it this is me playing on my own but it's the only way you can get around the feeling of of a scripted feeling whether it's in your favor or against you if it's against you it's on a high level always go for a lower level that way you give yourself a disadvantage. Anyway, guys, I'll see you again.